Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to talk you through an example of how to calculate the surface area of a cuboid. First things first, surface area, the word area we all know since primary school, it relates to the space taken up inside a 2D shape. So let's take this rectangle for instance, it's the area inside the rectangle. So, you know, when you did this in primary school, you would have spoken about the fact that the area of a classroom might be the tiles on the floor. However, the perimeter is the distance around the outside. So don't get confused between those two. Area is always represented by units squared. So if this was, let's say, five meters and this was three meters, the area would be equals to five multiplied by three, which is equals to 15 meters squared. So it's always relating to squared and not cubed. Hopefully we all know that cubed, cubed units, relates to volume, which is the area inside a 3D shape. Obviously a cuboid is a 3D shape, so this is where students get confused because they're thinking, oh yeah, 3D shape, it must be to do with volume, so we'll do length by width by height. But remember, we're not asked for volume, we're asked for surface area. So what we want to do is we want to calculate the area of each of the faces of this 3D shape. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw this out in its 2D parts. So we need to think about what 2D shapes make up this 3D cuboid. Let's start with the bottom. So if we go to that rectangle at the very bottom of the um, cuboid, let's draw it out and put in the, the lengths. So we can see that across its length it's 4, so we know that this has to be 4 metres. And we know that going back here, it's three. So this distance here is three meters. Let's then look at the rectangle that's at the front of the shape. So uh, at the very front of our rectangle, our cuboid, I should say, and the rectangle at the very back. They're actually the same. So let's draw those in. Sorry, this is not very accurate, but you get the idea. Um, okay, so... If we, oh, sorry, draw that bit there. Okay, so let's mark in those distances. So we know that this rectangle here is still the same length as the other one, so that's still going to be four, and the other one will be four. But this time, we're looking at this distance here and this distance here, which is two meters. So let's fill that in there. That's two meters and two meters. And then the other rectangle that we need to look at then um, along this side of our shape is the one at the very top. So we've already looked at the one at the bottom, which was this one here. But we also need to take into account that the box needs to close or the cuboid. So it's the top distance. So again, let's draw that connected to this side. And we can see that across it's still going to be four. And back this time it's the same as the one on the bottom. It's going to be three meters. And finally, we've got the two rectangles on either side of my shape. So that's going to be three and two. So we can draw that onto the bottom one here. So that's going to be three meters and two meters. The same on the other side. And there we go. So this is what we call a net. This is a net of a 3D shape. A net basically just shows us the 2D shapes that make up the 3D shape. Now what we need to do is go and find the area of each of those rectangles and then we'll add them all up and we'll have our surface area. Now what some of you probably spotted and I've kind of mentioned it is that this rectangle here is the same as this rectangle here, that this rectangle here is the same as this one here and this rectangle here is the same as this one here. So we basically need to find the area of three different rectangles times them by two because there's two of each of them and then add them together. So I'm going to start off with rectangle number one. So rectangle number one, we can see the length is four and the width is three. So that's going to be four multiplied by three, which gives me 12. However, there's two of them. So then I'm going to multiply that by two. So we get that equals to 24. Rectangle number two is four multiplied by two. So that's going to give me eight. But again, there's two of those rectangles. So we times our answer by two. And that gives me 16. And rectangle number 3 is 2 multiplied by 3 metres. So that's going to give me 6 metres squared. However, there's 2 of them. Times it by 2. And we get 12. To finish off then, we're going to add those up. 
So that's going to give me 6 plus, that's going to give me 12. Carry my 1, 2 plus 1, that's going to give me 52. However, I need to make sure I always write in my correct units. So the answer is equals to 52 metres squared. Okay guys, so I'd love you to have a go at this question now. So if you pause the video, have a go at finding the surface area. I should have probably written that down. So you're going to calculate uh, the surface area of this 3D shape, which is a cuboid. And you can then play the video and make sure that you've got the correct answer. Okay, so the way I'm going to do this is, I suppose, a little bit different to what I explained the first example because I was going through it really slowly. The way I like to do this, if I'm doing a little bit quicker, is think about the different rectangles that make up my cuboid. So the first rectangle I'm going to focus on is the one at the front of the shape, so I'm going to just call that rectangle number one. And we know that rectangle number one, I just draw myself a little sketch, is uh, length 10 centimetres and height along that line there so it has to be this one so it's going to be 12. Okay so then to find the area of that rectangle it's 10 multiplied by 12 which gives me 120 centimeters squared but again that rectangle at the front is the same as the one at the back so I'm going to times my answer by 2 and that gives me 240 centimeters squared. You can write that in if you want I normally just write the units at the end but it doesn't matter. Number two then is the rectangle, let's say, on the top of my shape, but it's the same as the one on the bottom. So again, I'm going to draw myself a little sketch of that. And again, the length along the front is still going to be 10. And going back here relates to this distance, which is 8. So then I'm going to find the area of um, this rectangle, so 10 times 8 gives me 80 centimetres squared. Times that by 2 because there's two of them which gives me 160 centimetres squared. And then if we're three, number three is the one on the right-hand side and the left. So I'm going to write, draw my sketch of that again. Sorry, I'm kind of running out of room, but you get the idea. So this number three, the length along the bottom is eight. And the length going up the, uh, the top is going to be 12. So I need to calculate the area of that. So 8 multiplied by 12 gives me 96 centimetres squared. I then need to multiply my answer by 2. And that gives me 192 centimetres squared. I've now calculated the areas of all six of the rectangles. Remember, because I've multiplied them all by 2. And now I'm going to add them all together to get my final answer. And that adds to give me 592 centimetres squared. Again, please make sure that you write in the correct units. It's squared and not cubed because we're calculating area. And again, in the junior cert exams, that's the big mistake that students make. They do all the hard work and then they either forget to write in their units or they write it in as centimetres cubed. Okay, guys, hopefully that helped. Um, again, it's up to you which way you lay out these questions, but I would highly recommend drawing the three rectangles each time to make sure that you don't make any mistakes.